Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my travel, carry-on, in-flight essentials kind of video. So I know a lot of you guys are either on spring break or are going on spring break right now, so I thought this video would be very helpful for some of you who are traveling. The bag that I'm going to be using is going to be linked below. I just showed it in my spring haul, but I will have it linked below as well as all of my social medias. Give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe, and let's just get into it. So this is the bag that I have been using for just like traveling and going on flights and stuff like that. This is the Fajal Raven Kinin. I have no idea what this is called. I am so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that. Again, it'll be linked below. But this backpack is actually very popular. I feel like everybody has this. It comes in different colors and different sizes, and it's really durable and sturdy, so I have been really liking it. So as you can see, it has kind of this one big pocket like normal backpacks do, and then a front pocket. So in this front pocket, I keep my headphones. I literally can't go anywhere without headphones, let alone a like six hour flight or anything like that. These are so, so good, and if you have the little thing like this as I do. Don't forget to bring like a little converter or something if you want to watch movies on the plane. But headphones are definitely essential. I can't go anywhere without listening to music. The next thing I have in this pocket is obviously my phone. I feel like that's just like a pretty given one. But sometimes the most obvious things to bring are the ones that we forget. You know what I mean? So always remember to bring your phone, pack it in your bag, charge it, everything like that. You don't want to forget this. So this is kind of random. This is a tea bag. This is the Rishi. It's like matcha tea, but you know how matcha tea, you have to like actually make it like in a blender or whatever. So this matcha tea, it already comes in a bag. These are my favorite things ever because I love matcha tea. It's like green tea, but with so much more caffeine, it's amazing. So I bring these into my backpack and I drink them during school and they're so good for in-flight essentials when you just need caffeine but you're not like a big coffee fan. They do serve tea on airplanes and stuff like that but it's most of the time they only have black tea so what I do is I just ask for some hot water, bring my own tea and you're good to go. And then the last thing that I have in this front pocket is just a pen. Always bring a pen with you when you travel. Even if you're traveling with your parents or whatever, always bring a pen. You never know when forms you're gonna have to fill out, especially if you're traveling abroad, overseas, whatever. They generally make you fill out like customs forms and stuff like this or to islands or whatever you're traveling to. Always bring a pencil or a pen or whatever. So that's pretty much it for the front pocket. I don't really like to keep it too congested in there. I just keep the most important essentials for you and then it's really easy to find stuff in there. But now for the main pocket, which is this big thing. So the first thing that I see that I'm pulling out is this guy right here. This is my favorite makeup bag of all time. I actually got it from Clinique. Like when I bought stuff, they gave this to me for free. It was like a gift with purchase and it's become one of my favorite makeup bags. It's just like the perfect size and it holds so much and it's so cute. So in here, I mean, I just keep my makeup essentials. Like I have a foundation, um, concealer, powder. I'm actually gonna be doing a video really soon on what's in your travel like essentials makeup bag. So you guys should stay tuned for that and subscribe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's basically just my makeup essentials in here. It's nothing too crazy. So yeah, stay tuned for that video if you're actually curious on what's inside of here. The next thing that I'm going to be pulling out are these. These are my favorite sunglasses of all time. If you've seen my what's in my purse video, I think these are the ones that are also in there. They're just my favorite. So these are the K Australia or I, I learned how to pronounce them and then I totally forgot. Key, Key, Aust Key Australia. These are the Key Australia sunglasses. They're just plain black, like kind of cat eye, kind of round sunglasses. Ooh, these are so cute. So yeah, these are my favorite sunglasses. Really good quality. Next, I have a brush. This is my Tangle Teaser brush. I honestly just threw this one in here because it's the smallest, most compact brush that I have, but also it's a really good hairbrush. Always bring a hairbrush. Sometimes I don't bring it and I'm like, yeah, I don't need it, but 
I always regret not bringing a hairbrush on the airplane with me. Your hair just gets staticky and really rowdy and really tangled, especially if it's a longer flight. Always bring one and if you might not use it, then your sister or your mom or whatever definitely will. A charger is probably the most important thing in this entire bag. This is your lifeline. If you don't have this, you don't really have anything. You don't have music, you don't have movies to watch, whatever. So always bring a charger in your carry-on bag. Sometimes like I will put it in my suitcase and I'll be like, no, I need to charge my phone in the airport periodically. Like always bring this, especially if it's a longer flight because most airplanes that are going on longer flights do have outlets, always bring one. So the next things I have in here are scrunchies and then just like a little clippy. You always need sun scrunchies, hair stuff, especially when you're traveling. Your hair gets really annoying. Even if you're trying to be cute and you have it down, you will get annoyed with it, guaranteed. So always bring scrunchies or ponytails or clips or whatever you like to do with your hair and bring extras. Like I said, if you're not gonna use it, definitely your sister, your mom, whatever, anyone traveling with you is definitely gonna want some of these. So bring these. The next product I have in here is this. This is a little bit extra. I'm gonna pull out a few skincare items, but skincare is actually super important to keep with you when you're traveling, especially if if you're like me and you're super just like picky about how your skin is looking and how it's feeling I have super dry skin and airplanes definitely do not help that situation at all so I always bring some sort of mask with me this is actually an under eye mask because especially if you're going on a longer flight you're gonna be tired your sleeping schedule is gonna be messed up always bring some sort of eye mask this one's by Sephora it's the pearl eye mask it's really inexpensive really good so this is definitely a must-have for me and then again going off with the skincare kind of thing this is the origins ginseng moisturizer probably one of my favorite moisturizers of all time it keeps my skin so hydrated and like I said I have dry skin so when I go on flights first of all I don't wear makeup but second of all I do put like masks on and moisturizers on and it's so embarrassing especially when you're not sitting like with your family or your friends but this is definitely a must-have for me because you definitely need to take care of your skin even when you're in the air so bring a moisturizer of some sort and then this is definitely optional and it's a little bit extra but this is a serum this is the Ole Henriksen truth serum again my skin gets really dry so I tend to bring stuff like this again this is very optional to bring a serum or an oil or whatever but if you have very temperamental skin definitely bring something to save it because you don't want to start off your vacation your trip wherever you're going with like a zit you know what I mean take care of your skin I found another clip at the bottom but this is important too um, I have have this moisturizer in here so again planes are very drying this is just a hand cream everyone's gonna want this you're gonna want this it gets very dry up in the air and that's just the way it is bring a hand cream of some sort so you can save your hands this one is from Whole Foods actually it's the rose comfrey moisturizing cream it's really good it smells like roses and it's super natural and you know it's gonna be good because it's from Whole Foods so I brought an actual perfume in here this one is only a few ounces which is why it's good to bring on the flight but it is the full size of the perfume this is the Glossier you perfume I think it's called you um, I think it's the only perfume that they have on their website but this stuff smells so good so fresh and clean which is the best like smell to have especially when you're going on vacation and when you're just like looking for a good good time this is definitely my go-to it smells really good obviously not sponsored but this stuff is the best just bring a perfume you don't want to get off the plane and smell like the plane I hate that I hate the smell of plane so I always bring a perfume and the last and final thing I have in this bag is my laptop oh I have the most hysterical looking stickers on here the way that my sister described my laptop she was like it looks like a five-year-old decorated your laptop and that's so true because it does but I always bring my laptop you can download movies and watch them any TV show you want you can download I edit or something just always bring your laptop even if you're not gonna use it on the plane you are gonna want to use it especially if you're going on like a week-long vacation you're gonna need it for some way or another so that's pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching please leave a comment down below on what one essential is for your flight essentials give this video a thumbs up subscribe and I love you so much much.